This is our rendition of a uh, mask with with duct tape. Get the hair out. Look pretty good. Fit test works pretty well too. So. Duct tape definitely passed the test. This uh, this mask that we uh, that we created, um, so um, uh, using these off the shelf things you can get at a hardware store. We got these uh, specifically at Lowe's and at uh, Home Depot. None of these products are FDA approved uh, or certified. Uh, they have not, none of these that I know have been tested or seen for validity. Uh, but uh, if you're in a pinch and you have no other options, this is probably a good choice. The Delphine project, uh, if you look at, and there's a link on our uh, comment section on the original video and we'll put on this video. Um, they did a lot of valid uh, uh, sort of testing. So uh, they even put the masks in autoclaves to see if they would survive. They survived after, even after three autoclaving. So, um, they put it in uh, bleach. They used uh, alcohol, 70, I think it was 70% alcohol. Uh, and uh, they did a lot of testing, which was really, really awesome. So I want to show you these. I want to show you how they fit and uh, how they work. Um, and this is our 20th century uh, solution to 21st century problem. This is the pipe fit in very so pretty good seal. Very good seal. This has got the three quarter inch to three quarter inch to one half inch uh, adapter and uh, with our filter on it. And then we use silicone and we use these uh, little uh, uh, pipe fitting type uh, ties. Uh, to clamp down the whole thing and make it airtight. Uh, we also uh, or, uh, have also made an adapter. Uh, a doctor gave me his uh, face mask. It had a different connector. And we created a, an adapter for him. So uh, this is uh, the Duke Cressy one. Uh, and we posted it. we're going to post this online as well to how to print that. Uh, but we also tried this with the, uh, the tubing. And it does take the tubing because it's a nice oval shape. And it gives you get a nice fit with that too. Um, just to show you the, uh, the other masks once again, uh, this is the um, uh, uh, Weird Tails uh, mask. And this one required an additional adapter. You have to get the one inch uh, uh, Fernco adapter with the three quarter inch, with the three quarter to half inch adapter um, to get it to work. So it has three layers of that uh, rubber tubing. Uh, but uh, you also have to silo you also have to use a silicone uh, sealer here because there's a little divot in the um, uh, face mask uh, profile here, so that will let air in. So you got to seal it off with a bunch of silicone. Also, the same mask. Uh, this is just showing you how, how it looks uh, with the one inch alone, and you can see the little hole here uh, that will let air in. So you got to seal this off really, really well. Otherwise, you're going to get a leak. You can also seal it on the inside. So we put a bunch of silicone on our uh, version and we put a bunch of silicone here, but not in, obviously in the airway region, but down below here where there's a little bit of a gap uh, and that helps seal it off pretty well. Uh, this one, we showed uh, how the caulking works to seal off uh, the um, exit, uh, exhalation portal uh, so that all the air is forced back out the exhaust tube here on the top. Uh, if you basically what we did is the original mask, there's no holes here, they're just little vents. So we cut this out and we stuck the caulking uh, tube gun in there, fired it, and then it filled this whole space up, see, not allowing the flaps of the, of the um, valve to open up. And you can see that sort of seat right here on the inside. Uh, I'll show you here, I hope you guys can see that. Um, basically, how the entire area is filled with caulking and doesn't let the flap open up, basically. I wanted to show you that the uh, AMBU bag uh, can be used in an adapter as well um, in a pinch. Um, take a filter and it, uh, the female, sorry, the, the male side of this uh, fits into this 
housing here pretty well and it's pretty tight. Uh, and then you can cut the end off of this. Uh, we ripped this by accident recently, uh, but uh, this, if you cut it small enough, will fit over uh, the small round portal uh, uh, of uh, the original mask. Uh, and um, so uh, you can use this as a uh, sort of extension or an adapter uh, between the two. Uh, we bought most of these masks on Amazon. Uh, we bought those things on the, at the hardware store. Uh, so I think uh, you have a lot of options and a lot of ways to stay safe. Um, one plug, uh, Amazon does have uh, a smile version. Uh, it's called Smile Amazon. And uh, basically every time you make a purchase, uh, you can uh, basically uh, make the money go, or a portion of that purchase, uh, I think it's a small percentage, 0.1% or something like that, goes to uh, your uh, charity of choice. Um, one of the reasons that I sort of got involved in this is because my wife has a pretty severe asthma and uh, we wanted to protect her uh, and come up with a way to protect her by protecting me so that I don't bring it home. Uh, and uh, there's other doctors that also have similar situations. Uh, the guy that I think about the most in this case is uh, Ruben Ricardo. Uh, his son um, uh, has um, uh, cystic fibrosis and uh, he has a foundation. Uh, if you wanna, you know, when you purchase this stuff on Amazon, uh, you can buy it through Amazon Smile and uh, if you can give to his uh, uh, foundational support, that would be great. Uh, but, uh, um, you know, he was the insert, one of the inspirations for this uh, uh, video and for these uh, products. So uh, good luck out there, everyone, and uh, stay safe. We will put the links to those other uh, web pages and other uh, uh, YouTube uh, files uh, so you can get more information. We've also put everything on Thingiverse uh, as far as our adapters, uh, and there have been some comments uh, uh, on people trying to edit those too. So. Um, good luck everyone and uh, be safe out there.